Okay, this model is looking at assessments, and we always have to start with the learning target. So I've included the learning targets for the situation I'll be testing in. Uh, the learning target is directly from the PSU course catalog. And then from there, we have to look at what the content dimension is, or what the um, assessment dimensions are that we're going to be uh, addressing, and I'm going to be addressing content dimension. And there's actually three content dimensions that are being um, that I identified for this unit scientific method, cell division, and just basic declarative knowledge uh, for this chapter study. So the first um, computer mind tool that I would want to use would be the concept mapping. And uh, so to assess the learning, I want the students to either write something or do something. Of course, it's do. Um, by choosing do, it, I'm choosing a performance assessment. And there's obviously some benefits for choosing a performance assessment. Um, it's just clear, I'm trying to think of what it is. Um, oh, it's assuming, using the models, assuming that we've already gone through the first two steps that I just did of identifying the learning target, being very clear about it, and then the content or the um, assessment dimensions. Then there's also disadvantages of using any, any of the performance assessments. I've outlined them here according to the, the list from NICO and Brookhaven and um, all of the switches are activated. Um, then how do we make them valid? And I just gave the three requirements for making them valid here. Now we're going to select uh, completing one task as opposed to many tasks. And then um, I am specifying what materials, instructions, outcomes, and preparations I'm going to be using as opposed to um, doing naturally occurring assessment or assessment that is um, uh, the task is performed over a period of time. This is not going to be a timely, uh, a long-term project for the students. Uh, it, we will not be using paper and pencil, so it's definitely other. And I've done with my selection. It's a structured on-demand performance assessment. And is this authentic? The four criteria that Mitco and Brookhaven um, identify are emphasizing applying knowledge, definitely applying knowledge. Uh, the assessment is direct, we will have a rubric, and it encourages open-ended thinking. Well, I'm not sure about that, so maybe we'll leave let that down. And this is not a real-world problem that we're addressing, so no, it is not um, an authentic, um, it is not an authentic assessment. However, it still can be challenging, interesting, and meaningful for the students. Um, the next video will uh, we'll be able to look at the decision and how the model looks.